democracy is not perfect. It's never been good. Wow! President Brandon says democracy's never been good? We'll take a closer look at that in a moment, along with our other top stories tonight around gun control, tyrannical Trudeau, Nancy Pelosi's husband gets arrested, woke companies are spinelessly virtue signaling again, and Joe Biden says he's against gay marriage. Yep. I mean, those are his words, not mine. You'll see. All that tonight in an effort to help you have your constitutional rights taken away. But before we get to what Joe Biden said, let's take a closer look at what President Brandon said. Democracy is not perfect. It's never been good. Was it a gaffe? Well, if we say it was, then we have to acknowledge that the only reason he would gaffe so often is because he's senile. And we don't want to do that. At least, not until we have a puppet who's a suitable replacement for him. And God knows we're not even close. Instead, we'll just take a look at all the evidence of him destroying our democracy and make the logical conclusion that he doesn't think things like oppressive, freedom-granting democracies are good. Democracy is not perfect. It's never been good. But communism's good. Right, Joe? My butt's been wiped. I think he said my butt's been wiped. My butt's been wiped. Well, we're all very happy for you and your butt, President Brandon. And right on schedule with the leftist playbook, in response to the recent school shootings, the leftists are politicizing the tragic loss of life in order to try to disarm the citizens of the U.S. In D.C., apparently with his butt freshly wiped, President Brandon told Americans, the Constitution and the Second Amendment have never been absolute. However, the Founding Fathers certainly intended for both the Constitution and the Second Amendment, which grants citizens the right to bear arms to protect themselves from any citizen or government that intends them harm, to be absolute. But according to a recent poll ran by Dominion, 11 out of 10 Americans trust Biden more than they trust the Founding Fathers. Because after all, the Founding Fathers were nothing but a bunch of racists, according to what we tell you. In other news, it apparently still won't get you deplatformed for reporting on how Biden gave the eulogy at the funeral of a KKK leader, where he called the KKK leader a friend and mentor. In other news, as Biden has been busy trying to disarm the U.S. population because weapons are dangerous, the somehow shockingly accurate media outlet The Babylon Bee reports, Guns should not be in the hands of the mentally unstable, says senile man with nukes. And as the current wave of mass formation psychosis has those with their eyes glazed over ragefully obediently doing as they're told, Turning Point USA reports, A month ago, leftists protested in the streets to send guns to Ukraine. A week ago, they protested in the streets to kill children with abortion. And now they're protesting in the streets for gun control to save children. Also, we probably shouldn't point out, but we will, as DC Drano points out, the leftist support for Ukraine has grown so strong and so genuine that now they've put the Ukraine flag colors on the gay pride flag as you can see here. We'll also point out that gay marriage is banned in Ukraine. Seems weird, but not when you understand that only highly principled people passionately stand for things that they don't understand. Because highly principled people are very good at doing what they're told, rather than allowing their actions to arise out of their own morals, values, and critical thinking. Because that's what those brainwashed freedom lovers do. They do things that make sense to their own brain. <laughs> That sounds both dangerous and like it won't get you virtue signaling points. And in news north of the border, the clump of flesh that's cut off during gender reassignment surgery, who is also the living, breathing reason why Canadians need guns, Justin Trudeau, has made headlines once again as he bans the sale of handguns. We're introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada. As he stands in a field with many grazing sheep behind him, he sure looks like Castro for some reason. And he also sounds definitely super genuine as he's minimizing how much Canadians can protect themselves from him. As Trudeau wants to ban guns, it's worth noting that he keeps a heavily armed security team around him at all times. That's weird and probably better not to think about. Cause after all, it's different. 
because it says right here, you have to have rules for thee, but not for me if you're doing a tyrannical dictatorship. And in other news, horse medication addict Joe Rogan says that if you ban guns, then only criminals will have guns. No, Joe, that's not true, because the government will have guns too. This Justin! No, technically that still means only criminals will have guns. Okay, stand corrected. <laughs> Speaker of the House and head crypt keeper Nancy Pelosi has a husband who's unfortunately married to her. His name is Paul, and he was arrested over the weekend for a DUI. During this hard time, many Americans are struggling with how to cope with having their favorite insider trader's husband arrested. But Chad Prather stepped in to help Americans cope with this understanding. Nancy Pelosi's husband arrested for DUI. If she was your wife, you'd be drinking and trying to get away too. Well, that's officially all that needs to be said about that. In honor of June being LGBTQ and a Pride Month, many woke companies are woke washing their social media with pride colors in the US and UK, but not other countries for some reason, because the companies stand for nothing, as you can see here. These companies believe that going woke in certain demographics is profitable in the short term before their stock completely crashes in the long term. And that's just good business planning. And it being Pride Month, we all know that there is no one more inclusive than Joe Biden. So to honor his shining example of inclusivity, Here's a video of Joe Biden talking about gay pride from back when he was able to control his own thinking. We already have a law, the Defense of Marriage Act, where we've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman and states must respect that. Why do we need a constitutional amendment? Marriage is between a man and a woman. What's the game going on here? Joe Biden, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for tonight's news. Giving up your constitutional rights is the best thing you can do to protect your freedoms. Trudeau and the people running Biden have your best interests at heart. Right, tech checkers? That's right. Tune in tomorrow night to find out how well communism will work when we get everyone disarmed and we can finally implement it the right way. Good night.